What's up guys? Today, we've got some ways for you to improve your weak foot so you can ball out in the game. Let's go. Alright guys, so your weak foot, we've done videos on this, we've talked about weak foot shooting, we've talked about weak foot dribbling, but we want to give you guys just a couple things that you can do after training or at any time to just improve your weak foot. And the first one that we're going to do is something that a lot of guys ignore, even if they're technical players, and that is juggling. So obviously I'm left footed mainly, I dribble with my left foot, I like to strike the ball with my right, but it's very easy for me to juggle with my left, high and low. So. What you really need to do, obviously, with your right foot is train. And that's something that we've made fun of. Pick up a medicine ball with your weak foot and then go straight into dumbbells. No, no strong foot. Not today. And obviously, you have to train with your weak foot if you want to improve. So you see these light little touches that I'm doing right here? Taking these little touches like this is something that's gonna improve your game in the fact that it gets you very comfortable. And that's the whole point. That is the whole point of working on your weak foot. You wanna be able to be comfortable in the game with your technique so you can be more confident when you get in a bad situation. Even if you're not at this level where you can do something like that, throw the ball down, kick it up. That's fine. Throw it down, kick it up. Include your thigh, all right? So you might be here, 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 down, Kick it back up, thigh, thigh, all right? So the entire, the entire point is to do nothing but force you for a second to pretend that your weak foot is dominant while juggling. If you can do this at least 100, 100 to 500 after training, for a week, you'll see improvement. If you do it for a month, you will straight ball out. All right, so one last thing that you absolutely have to do if you wanna get your weak foot better is train your close ball skills. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So we've shown some stuff. If you have a wall that you can use, which of course you can find one, but if you have friends out there at the field, you can also do it like this. So we'll show what you can do with the wall later, but what you wanna do is catch balls in the air, obviously, that you can use to hit the ball back. So if I come in here, I like this, okay? But don't do this where you hit and you stand. That's not game like. You guys wanna make sure that you here, get a little bit there, there, you can come in, use your full instep like that, like that, okay? So you can do that up against the wall, obviously. Hitting it, one, two, you can use your dominant foot. We'll show clips of that. Once that's done, you come in here, you move to work with only your weak foot. You can do the same thing with the wall. We'll be back and forth. Make sure everything is clean. And if you need to, extend the space like that. And there's a reason for doing this and moving in that way. Because the faster and the quicker and the more you do this, the more natural it will be for you and the better you can do it in the game, okay? All right, guys, so also incredibly important it is to not just shoot every time you go out to the field. Sometimes you need to work on your pinging, your passing, and all that stuff. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to aim at something. If you wanna hang something up in the goal, maybe a shirt in both corners and try and ping balls in and loft balls in, that's perfectly fine, you can do that. But if you've got a friend out there with you at the field, you can do a little challenge, and even if you're alone, of course, you can do the crossbar challenge. In the right corner, weighing in at 300 pounds, six foot four, it's back, talk, back. Guys, we want a good fight to that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's see how this first one goes. Ooh, misses the goal completely. That is an absolutely horrendous shot. Heavyfoot Harold enjoying that. He's gonna walk in. His left foot should be slightly better in the Copa 90s. Let's see what he's gonna do. And 1-0! He's on the board. Heavyfoot Harold off to the early lead, celebrates by giving birth to a ball. Back talk back. Heavyfoot Harold bringing home the championship. 1-0. All right, guys, that's the vid. You know what to do. Give us a like and comment right down below. Subscribe. 
subscribe, subscribe, check out our Instagram, Snapchat, check out goldrainy.com, and we will see you guys later. Peace.